I'm back with more Let's Play Super Mario Brothers. I almost said New Super Mario Brothers for some reason. That would not be correct. Here I'm in World 3, kind of a snowy looking world. Neat. Ugh, fire flower. Gotta have the fire. Fireballs are important. Hmm, I just happened to think. I'm trying to think what my top 10 favorite Mario games were. Just to kind of start conversation. Hmm. I'll think about it. I already told you my first one. I wonder if I can come up with a top 10. I would say number 10 is probably this one right here. This game, the first Super Mario Brothers. It's a good game. Do a. Well, that little trick failed. <laughs> I got distracted. You get infinite one ups there if you do it right. I did it wrong. Don't do it like me. But anyway. Yeah, I would say this is number 10. Hmm. Number 9. I want to say number 9 would probably be Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga for the Game Boy Advance. That's a good game. It's a uh, one of Mario's better RPG adventures. It's, well, it's funny as it's funny as heck. Very very entertaining. Luigi's so funny in that game. <laughs> Luigi, me! Oh no! <laughs> you got Mario with his antics. Potato, potato. It's me, Mario. Hoo -hoo. That's the best I've got. Sorry for my crappy Mario voices. Let me think. Number eight. I might give number eight to another RPG. I'm gonna give number eight to Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64. That's a good game too. Very unique. It was. <laughs> I found it very interesting. I first played that when I was 15. It uh entertained me. And it's about as simple as an RPG gets, really. It's like RPG for beginners. Of course, I don't play many RPGs to begin with, so I guess it kind of worked out for me. Um, number seven. Which number was I on? Yeah, I was on seven. What was I say seven is? I might give the seven spot to Super Mario 64. The one that really rev revolutionized 3D gaming, I guess. There's a lot of nostalgic value with me, with the wing cap, the metal cap, and the invisible cap. I like that game. Had hours of fun just roaming around 3D, just being awed by it. Nowadays, it's nothing special, but you know, back in 1996, it was amazing. Let me think. Number five. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Mario's side-scrolling adventures. And they really brought back the old school style with this one. I'm going to say New Super Mario Bros. Wii. That's a good one. I have an LP out for that one already with two to four players. Let me tell you though, it gets really tough with four players. <laughs> Most of the time it's about two or three players. Uh, I may do that one again solo, if I think about it. I haven't decided yet. But it's a nice little throwback to games like these. So I guess I'll give Mario Wii the uh, number six spot. Ooh, there's three of them. Oh gosh. Number five. First I gotta avoid Lakitu. <laughs> he throws spinies at me. Um, five. Got about half the list done. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about it some more. I'm trying to go through my head all the Mario games I love and enjoy. There's so many. Well, I think I about know what a good idea my number five wouldn't be. It's one I'm planning to do another LP of. I would say Super Mario Bros. 3. Now that is by far my favorite game for the NES. 
right there. Super Mario Brothers 3. That's just plain incredible. Raccoon Mario in the frog suit. Oh, and the first introduction to the Koopa Kids. That's real nice. They're always fun to stomp. They're just as much fun to stomp as Goombas. Let's see. Now, I already know what 3 and 4 are, I would say. I would say number 4 is the first Super Mario Galaxy. They did everything right with that one. You know, a lot of people were disappointed with Super Mario Sunshine. I do like Mario Sunshine, but it didn't feel Mario-y to me. If, you, if that makes sense. But Super Mario Galaxy felt just perfect. Felt like I was right at home with Mario again. One of the one of the best 3D uh, platformers I played. And the number three spot would belong to uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Somehow it managed to be even better than the first, in my opinion, with uh, Yoshi being in it and all, and just the huge challenge that comes with it. Man, it was a astonishing, incredible. I could go on and list all kinds of adjectives about it. <laughs> it's a phenomenal game. I would dare say that was probably the best 3D platformer I have ever played. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Loved it. That's going to be hard to top. I'm going to give number 2 my... I've already said this before my Super Mario World Let's Play. Super Mario World is my second favorite Mario game. That's about as close to 2D perfection as it gets, I would say. I love Super Mario World. By far my favorite 2D Mario. Uh, being in a, it's the introduction with Yoshi here on Dinosaur Land. Whoop. Ah, and you get the feather. I may have messed myself up here. There we go. But for Cape Mario, that was, a, that was fun to fly around. Very nostalgic to me. I've been playing that game since I was five years old. And I will never get tired of it. Number one. Well, you are your number one. Super Mario RPG. The Legend of the Seven Stars. Blah, 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 blah. I don't need to go into much more detail. <laughs> I'm just talking to kill time. I'm curious to know if anybody's watching these videos. Uh, what's your top ten favorite Mario games? I'm, I, I, I would like to know that, actually. That would intrigue me. If you don't mind posting in the comment section. Whoops, I went the wrong way. It's been a while. But yeah, I like to know. Now I'm going to concentrate for the most part. I gotta remember these paths. Which was the right path to take? Well, that was correct. Oh, tricky. This is getting tricky dicky here. Quote the angry video game nerd. James Rolfe. Well, that's the end of World 4. I guess that ought to do it for now. Well, so tune in next time as I will play Episode 3 and go through whichever worlds I get through. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate it.